see the game on a single monitor. But uh, Sean, if you can rotate to the right, <clears throat> slowly pan to the right. What you're seeing here, go ahead and stop right there, a little bit further to the right, sorry. This is the way games look today. And uh, Jensen, what you can see is on the floor, there's that very clear so can I Can I show you guys? Just stop for a second, Sean. So, so Tom, stop for a second, okay? Sure. Can I just show you? You see, you see this right here? That right there? That looks wiki wonky. That's a technical term for that's wrong. That's a technical term for that's wrong. That is clearly wiki wonky. Okay, now, now the way to solve that, the way to solve that, of course, this was originally, remember, this was originally projected into three panels that were all planar. And so the original projection is actually correct. And if you sat in the middle of that projection and you look out to that far corner, it actually looks correct. And it actually is correct. However, when you now bend the monitors inward so you can actually see it, so that you can actually see it, it the projection is no longer correct. And so, Tom, could you do this? Can you correct it? Absolutely. So, Sean, give me some correction. Dang. Uh, look at that. Yeah. Oh. Look at that. Okay, so, so, what you're, so what you're now seeing, what you're now seeing is essentially out the window. It's almost like you're looking out a window. And this particular window is a, a display next to you. And let's go, to, Tom, could you, can you swipe me to the other side? Yeah, absolutely, Sean, rotate the camera slowly to the left. And let's take a look at the gigantic virtual window into this world. It, it actually dramatically increases your field of view. And you're, it's like you're in this plaza somewhere in Italy, right? It's, it's really just fantastic. And notice the tables aren't warped, the chairs aren't warped. Well, let's, let's uh, go back to the way it was. Okay, turn it off, Sean. So oh, cool. no. Uh, <laughs> it's painful, it's painful. Oh no! Please give away simultaneous multi projection. <laughs> yeah! Okay. <clears throat> the more geometry you have, of course, the richer the character looks. The more geometry you have, the more lighting you have to do, the more shadowing you have to do. And so the amount of processing is actually quite significant. Now, remember, you're running this on a 1080. This is now the fastest GPU in the world. You're running on a 1080. And now it's as you can see, there's a little bit of stuttering. Let's take a look at the frame rate counter, please. This is on a 1080 running about 60, 70 frames per second. Now 60, 70 frames per second is really, really fantastic, but not in VR. When you're in VR and you're, you want to see everything in 90 frames per second, 90 frames per second so it's silky smooth, so the latency is as short as possible, any stuttering really gives you a little bit you know, kicks you out of, out of that, that sensation of, of virtual presence. And so you really can't afford to have any stuttering. Now let's turn on single pass stereo. Let's just enjoy this monster. <laughs> let's, Let's just enjoy the presence of this monster. She's so beautiful. Could be a he, could be a she. No, I would not call this Tom. <laughs> hey Tom, I'm not doing this. This is the audience, it's the audience. 96 frames per second, single pass stereo, unbelievable. All of this because of multi-projection. Ladies and gentlemen, some simultaneous multi-projection.